What's up YouTube? Today I will continue my series Legendary Teams. Today is the number 3. You can check the other ones on my YouTube channel. I put a lot of effort doing videos like this, so I think a like is more than fair. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please do it. So, the team today will be Bayern Munich season 2012-2013, one of the best teams ever in my opinion and actually a quite underrated team. But before I start talking about Bayern Munich, let me do a disclaimer. No financial advice, my opinions are just that opinions, this channel is about soccer cards but a lot of my views can be applied to other markets, prices or pop can eventually be wrong at the time you see this video, no one can predict the market. I don't believe timing the market, I believe time in the market. Keep in mind that I'm a collector first and an investor second. I look, uh, look first at value instead of price. All the eBay links are affiliated, so they support the channel. Thank you so much. English is not my main language. Any types or mispronunciations, I'm sorry. So, Bayern Munich 2012-2013 season. I remember this team very, very well. And again, as I said at the start of the video, in my opinion, one of the best teams ever. Looking at, uh, for example, the Champions League uh, uh, performance was insane. Guys, just go look at the in the sem semi-finals, Bayern Munich played against Barcelona. And Barcelona at that time was a very, very good team, you can say. At that time was already in a downtrend. Again, you can, make, you can make an argument for that and will be fair, but was still a very strong team, otherwise will not be on the semi-final of a Champions League. And this team and up, uh, guys, get ready if you are not aware of this. On the first uh, uh, game, 7-0, guys. 7-0 was crazy. I never saw Barcelona getting so humiliated like that. For at least at that time was very new because Barcelona was for a lot of people the best team in the world uh, at that time. And I remember a lot of a lot of people uh, when the semi-final was about to to get started. I was talking with a couple of friends to, uh, at that time, and they they all said, "Oh, Barcelona will end up winning. Barcelona is just a better team than Bayern Munich." Well, guys, Bayern Munich was unstoppable uh, uh, on this season. Um, the, for example, two seasons ago, Bayern Munich won Champions League, and I believe it, it was almost the same thing. They, are, they end up being quite unstoppable, but I still have better memories for this team than the... The, the, the other, to be fair, because I believe this team was a little bit better. This is very debatable, to be fair, but I think you have um, world-class star players on, the te on this team. Not saying you don't have on the other Bayern Munich, I just think this was the best one. So, who is the best player on this team? Ribéry. But I'm not sure about my decision. I will explain why. Look, uh, the thing with Bayern Munich most of the time is they don't have a crazy big star like Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. Even nowadays, you can say Lewandowski uh, for Bayern Munich. Uh, most uh, historical Bayern Munich have been like this. Uh, a crazy good team without a crazy number of stars. Even Germany, apart if you, if you try to... Okay, Beckenbauer and Müller are in different category. But uh, Germany and even uh, German teams, they tend to be like this. They don't have a lot of... Uh, they don't have a crazy big start, but they have a lot of stars. So if, if you try to argument with me that Ribéry was not the best player, I would say, yes, maybe it was Robben, maybe it was Van Steiger, maybe Lem, maybe Neuer. Again, if I had to choose two and putting things a little bit more easy, I would go for Ribéry or Robben. I'm not sure uh, if, I if I should uh, choose Robben or Ribéry. I end up choosing Ribéry because on this season Ribéry was actually better um, in terms of stats, etc. So Ribéry for me, the best player. Again, if you say Robben, if you say Schweinsteiger, uh, Thomas Muller, you have a very, very strong argument, most likely. So, star players, and again, this uh, an, uh, another category that is very debatable for this team, end up choosing Ribéry, Robben, and Thomas Muller. Thomas Thomas Muller actually was a machine on this season, but that being said, Thomas Muller have been a machine for the, the last, uh, I would say, 10 years and nobody cares. And actually, as a lot of people know my opinion about this, Thomas Muller is probably the most underrated player right now in the hobby. When you look at his career, he's actually quite insane. 
underrated players and underrated players I could put again the whole team to be fair with you and I'm putting Alaba, Neuer, Boateng, Kroos, Lem and Schweinsteiger and a fan fact about this team at this time a lot of people believe Ribéry will be the Ballon d'Or winner and uh, I end up putting the stats as you can see Cristiano Ronaldo ended up winning but was very close between Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi and Ribéry and a lot of people at and Again, I'm not going to debate this because it will depend on how you want to score the Ballon d'Or um, votes and, and stuff like that. Because at that time, if you go for uh, um, team uh, team accomplishments, uh, yes, Ribéry was the clear the clear uh, should 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 have won Ballon d'Or. But and for example, I believe Ribéry was much deserved to to, to Ballon d'Or than Modric. You know what I mean? So this is very debatable. Do I believe Ribéry was better than Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? No, to be fair with you. Okay, so. Uh, it will depend how, how how do you want to assess the Ballon d'Or type of winner, the, the, the Ballon d'Or type of votation, I would say. So, that being said, let's go into memorable moments. Uh, one thing I remember very well about this Bayern Munich, and I already, talk, already talked about this, um, this team was just uh, a machine, in the sense that they only uh, attack, the, the, almost they, they are very good uh, defensive, but the way they end up defending was having the ball and attacking all the time. And when you have Robben and Ribéry in um, in one side, uh, Ribéry and the other side, Robben, look, <laughs> you are very close to, to, to win the game, no matter what. The, 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 the central forward was Mandzukic at the time. I believe Mandzukic was a very good player, but I don't think he's in the same level as Muller, Ribéry, um, Robben, etc. But again, still a very important player at that time. Um, talking about this team again, as I was saying, legendary team, one of the best teams I ever saw. The other memorable moment, and this case a particular moment that I remember, is the final versus Borussia Dortmund. I actually remember I was uh, doing a master degree, my master degree at the time, my first year doing a master degree, and I actually ended up uh, not going to to the university. I actually <laughs> stayed uh, watching the game because I thought, no, I, I need to watch Borussia versus Bayern Munich. And uh, I remember very well the Robben goal at the end of the game. Um, go again, guys, go to YouTube, put the uh, Robben goal versus Borussia Dortmund Champions League final. Uh, again, uh, just showing how good Robben uh, was, uh, technique, uh, speed, again. Amazing team, amazing uh, final. Actually, Borussia played very well too. If you guys, I know this is this is not about Borussia, but if you guys don't remember, at that time uh, the star for Borussia Dortmund was Lewandowski. You can say Royce was another star uh, again, but I believe Lewandowski was the the, the best player for for Borussia. And Lewandowski played quite well, but again, this team was unstoppable in my opinion. So star players again, as I said, end up choosing those three. And when you look at rookie cards for those guys, and I actually believe, again, this is so difficult to, to keep saying that I believe those are undervalued because if the market don't recognize what I'm saying, there is a, a scenario that those cards do not go up in price. But if you are like me, and if you believe in the long run of the hobby, if you believe on a value investing side of those cards where Europe will come into the market and prices will go up quite a lot, I believe Bayern Munich legends uh, or even German legends are quite a good investment. Because again, when you think about, about for example, even Germany, what players are expensive? Beckenbauer, uh, Muller, but even those are not even that expensive when, when you compare with other legendary players. But if you put in perspective that Europe will come into the market, and I strongly believe on this, Germany will be a big part of the market. And Beckenbauer is good uh, stats, stats type, type of player, for example. Uh, and talking about Bayern Munich legends, and I put Ribéry, Robben in that category, and, and Muller, there is a lot of opportunity if you believe in the long run uh, 
developing uh, side of the market that the market does not focus only on Alain, Messi, Mbappé and Cristiano Ronaldo and one or two vintage guys and you believe the market will be much more knowledgeable and that since uh, buying cards like Ribery, uh, rookie one specifically I believe are a, are a good investment but again don't think you will sell that card uh, one year from now that most likely not uh, uh, a potentially good scenario for you because I believe this will take quite a long time but again I'm a value investor so I'm for the long run and I'm buying those cards full disclosure so uh, Ruben, Ruben have two rookies I would say this is the most classic one the football 04 and have this one the 2003 Magic Box International I have both of those a lot of people tend to believe the sticker is a little bit more rare I'm not totally sure about this I can still find the sticker I will not say easy but uh, I can still find the find the sticker and again the card I, I can still find the card too so I'm not totally sure what's the what should be the, the the one you should go to be fair I believe the market gives a preference to to this sticker if I'm not mistaken I'm talking about, uh, from the top of my head I believe I saw a PSA 9 for this sticker so, selling for $600 which is quite a good sale uh, but I still believe is quite undervalued when, when you look at the pop only eight again of course this pop will increase and you, you guys always need, need to keep this in mind a lot of those players are not getting graded but most of the cards I'm talking today actually I believe they are quite rare again not through rarity but most likely uh, again a decent rarity and condition rarity most likely all of them so uh, if I had to choose and I have again I, I have both guys uh, I'm going to be very straightforward with you the card is much much pure much but much much more beautiful in end is not I cannot even compare with the sticker I I'm not saying I don't like the sticker but in terms of eye appealing the card for Robin is much more beautiful actually uh, uh, this set and I have a couple of cards from this set uh, when I see photos um, uh, on YouTube and, and uh, eBay etc I always feel that this card don't uh, don't shows you don't shows you how beautiful the card is because there is a little bit of glossy on the card again if I had to choose one of those two rookies uh, maybe this will outperform in general because people uh, believe there is more lineage and uh, there is a strong argument for that of course on this card but in terms of eye appealing I love the card both of uh, those I, I believe are great cards and uh, again talking about Robin is talking about one of my favorite players ever everyone knew what Rob, what Robin was good uh, on the pitch it's just crazy sprint put pushing the the uh, the ball and scoring and no one can, can stop it so this man was I I have great memory memories for Robin apart from that I'm a FIFA player and I, I play I have been playing FIFA for I, I don't even know how many years and uh, I remember at the time playing with Bayern Munich and I end up loving playing with Robin same for Ribéry to be honest uh, Ribéry again uh, as I said uh, probably the, the star of the team at that time and uh, there is only one rookie for Ribéry is the Panini Food 2005 but this 2004-2005 season uh, again those stickers in my experience from Panini Food they are quite difficult to get you can still find this card actually quite easy that, that's why you should check the links on the, on the description um, and again I believe it's a great buy again as I was saying, same logic as the robot, maybe not to sell next month, but in the long run, this sticker is quite uh, amazing and a piece of history from an amazing player, a legendary player. Pop total is 10. And again, Ribéry ended up not winning Ballon d'Or, but being third place on Ballon d'Or in a super uh, uh, close one versus Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo tells you a lot about this man uh, again a lot of people try to compare Rowan and Ribéry and, I, I, and I'm always doing that to be fair with you um, let me explain the difference Ribéry was a better player okay in the sense that more technique more class uh, um, was more uh, um, end up helping the, the team much more than Robin. Uh, but the thing with Robin was Robin. Uh, saying was more magic is not correct because I should believe Ribéry was more uh, was more uh, magic was more magic type of player but Robin was more explosive was more 
from nothing scores a goal you know what I mean I'm not saying Ribéry could not do it because Ribéry was very good but um, the, the way Robin played super fast game always trying to score goals outside of uh, the, the area uh, was just a beautiful watch that's why I prefer Robin instead of Ribéry but I believe the market probably tends to prefer Ribéry okay uh, the other player that again in my opinion the most underrated player in the lobby is Thomas Muller there is a couple of Thomas Muller rookies, and I'm choosing those two because I, I believe those two are the most famous. This is the typical headshot. Uh, pop total is only 12. Again, those stickers, I'm not saying they are crazy rare, but they are not that easy to find, in my opinion, because I have been bu buying a couple of them in the last uh, couple of years and they are not super common to, to find special in good condition uh, I my favorite is this one the with the panini foil uh, also a lot of people don't like it I personally I, I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of this sticker and one tip uh, that, a lot, that a lot of people will, will not give to you and I will share with you now I believe this sticker will be the most difficult to grade uh, in a higher grade because this foil tends to get a lot of a lot of problems so in terms of those two rookies this will be uh, saying much more rare makes no sense because the production was the same for all the the stickers but will be condition rarity in a higher level than the other ones okay so this is a pro tip that a lot of people don't know but keep this in mind if you can find one of those in good condition most likely will be the most rare uh, rookie for thomas muller if you want a, a budget uh, um, alternative for a Thomas Muller rookie, you should check the double CCFA uh, card for Thomas, Thomas Muller, there is actually two, one uh, base and one foil, both are beautiful and I believe they are great buys too. Again, they don't have the same lineage as the stickers, but they are still great cards and keep in mind those stickers are much more expensive. So, uh, talking about those three players, if I had to choose one, I I'm going to be very honest with you again. I will go for Robin because Robin is my favorite player from all those three, which what I believe is the most undervalued. I would go for Thomas Muller, what I believe is the, is the best player of all those three, or or, to, or um, the best player from all those three. I actually believe is Muller too, but uh, uh, end up be having a better prime. I would go for Ribery. Okay, so check the links on the description for all of those three cards. Underrated players and rookies end up choosing only four for this uh, video, uh, but I choose uh, four amazing uh, uh, rookies. So, uh, Muller rookie, uh, not Muller, I'm sorry, N Man Manuel Neuer rookie, uh, Tony Kroos rookie, and Schweinsteiger rookie, and uh, Philip Lem rookie. So, talking about uh, Manuel Neuer, well, Manuel, Ma Manuel Neuer, you can make a strong argument and a very, very good one. Uh, to Manuel Neuer being the best goalkeeper ever. You can say, oh no, I believe Buffon is much better, Casillas was better, uh, doesn't matter, okay? But you can make an argument uh, for Buffon, for Neuer being the best goalkeeper ever. Do I believe Neuer is the best goalkeeper ever? I think it's debatable, to be fair. I think in terms of career, there is a strong case actually for uh, for Neuer, but you can make a strong case for Buffon. So uh, in the end, doesn't matter. He's a good type uh, level of goalkeeper. That I have no doubt about that. Okay, uh, this man is actually uh, gold level in terms of goalkeeper, and I don't think there is a lot of doubts about that. Uh, again. Um, Pop total is 17, which I, w I was quite surprised. This, when you compare with the other, this pop is actually quite high. Look, saying uh, 17 pop is quite high makes no sense, I, I would say. But again, those stickers for Panini, they are not that easy to find, again, in my experience. So uh, keep this in mind. And uh, I actually have a couple of them that are completely out of centering. Maybe it was my bad luck, but keep, keep that in mind. Amazing goalkeeper, goat level type of goalkeeper. Another player that I believe is gold level type of player in his position not because uh, at, at the time at Bayern Munich but most at the time at uh, Real Madrid uh, is Tony Kroos okay Tony Kroos is an amazing player uh, actually believe Tony Kroos like Xavi Iniesta but again I, I, I believe Xavi Iniesta are in a different level than Tony Kroos we fair with you but uh, that being said if I try to, to put in comparison in, the, in those positions Tony, Tony, Tony Kroos uh, is one of the best in my opinion ever okay um, his only rookie is at WCCFA is a WCCFA card uh, that is uh, one year after that, there is Panini stickers, etc. Um, or tops. No, I'm, I'm not sure because uh, Panini ended up changing with tops the license on Germany. It doesn't matter to be fair. This card is, is a Panini one. 
and uh, at, uh, I believe again it's a great buy quite quite cheap again it is what it is people don't recognize goats apart from uh, the typical ones but this man is a goat in his position uh, the other player that I end up enjoying quite a lot is Bastian Schweinsteiger uh, PSA total is only one uh, this ticker again uh, same logic as the Manuel Neuer uh, this is even a little bit more rare uh, because of time so um Again, what can I say? Schweinsteiger was one of, one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders I ever saw, okay? And actually, I believe Schweinsteiger was a great mentor to Tony Kroos. Um, I mean, again, what can I say to be fair with you? He's such an amazing player, elite player, World Cup winner, Champions League winner. I, I don't even know how many Bundesliga this is always the same logic if you believe that uh, german will be part of the market if you if you believe that europe will be part of the market if you if you believe that the market will get more knowledge knowledgeable uh, schweinsteiger is a no-brainer okay and again pop total is only one keep in mind those pops are a little bit tricky but in general those stickers or cards are not that common the other one, a legendary player, one of the best players ever for Germany and for uh, uh, Bayern Munich. A Bayern Munich fan favorite, Philipp Lem. This man played in uh, different positions. Most of you guys will remember him from uh, playing at the um, right back, but he played at, at the, the, the midfield too. Um, and again, legendary player, one of the best in his position. And pop total is only two. Again, not an easy, a easy sticker to find. Um, but you can still find it to, to, to be fair okay uh, i believe again all of those tend to be great buys if you are a value investor and if you are not a flipper because if you are a flipper i'm not sure if uh, one year from now those, those cards are down if you are a value investor i believe and again this is a speculative uh, type of prediction i believe uh, those cards will perform quite quite well check the links on the description for both and yeah, it is what it is. Great, great team. So, uh, if I had to choose one player, one card to buy, because you guys always like this, the one I would go, again, let's forget that uh, Robin is my favorite player. The one I would go, mm, since this card is so cheap, the, the Tony Crows, because this card is actually very, very cheap on eBay right now. Um, I would go for the Tony Cruz uh, double CCV card. But if you have a little bit more money, uh, because it will be more expensive, maybe I would go for one Thomas Muller rookies from Panini, okay? Again, all of those, I believe, are great buys. And if you are a value investor, those are a must have, especially if you are more into pre-modern pre like me, okay? I have, uh, I would say, a very decent collection in the vintage side, but my most of my money is on pre-modern, on those legends that I actually end up watching. Guys, have a nice day. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Give it a like and see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And subscribe to the channel.